says one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very much. Uh, and it looks like that's all for now. Thanks, guys. Thank you all. <laughs> Baba Bear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got a lot of work to do, so I do appreciate your support, your donations, your super chats, and your lives. Go to rebuildatheman.com yes, to make a donation there for our nonprofit, for all that we're doing. Thank you, folks. I got to take a quick break. When I come back, more of your phone calls and more news items. Back in a moment. Uh, Jesse. that are amazing. I highly recommend you get them. The Seven Guarantees Stuff to Spiritual, Family, and Financial Success Guide. Even if you're not starting a business, but you have a job, or you're on welfare, it can help you if you do. Be doers of the word, all right? From rage to responsibility. From rage. That's why I write about, in the first chapter, especially how I overcame. Scam. How the black leadership exploits black Americans. They are using them, and blacks are too willing to be used. And then my last book, The Antidote Healing America from the Poison of Hate, Blame, and Victimhood. They are all amazing books, and they are helpful. Go to rebuildingtheman.com if you want an autograph copy, or call 800 411 2663. folks we're gonna get to your super chats uh, check out my books folks they're amazing and the last one that I wrote was the uh, antidote healing America from the poison of hate blame and victimhood um, and if you're thinking if you have a job or want to get a job want to start a business uh, I highly recommend the seven guarantee step to spiritual family and financial success guide we use it in our uh, entrepreneur uh, academy. We have a entrepreneur academy that I started because some years ago now, because I realized that when these guys overcome their anger, they're very talented. And some of them want they have business ideas, but they didn't quite know how to get it going. So uh, we use the seven guarantee step. Uh, it's real simple. Step. You follow those steps, you can't go wrong. There's just seven of them too. And uh, so I highly recommend that. We also, I also started a credit union so that because some of these guys, you know, they don't have money to do a business with or to whatever. So we loan them the money and uh, those that are in the academy and they pay it back with interest. But it's easy. It really, this mindset of what you can't do is insane. Really, you've been lied to. So get those books. We have uh, uh, other books there as well. From Rage to Responsibility. I write in the first chapter of From Rage to Responsibility how I was able to overcome anger. I was able to see and to overcome it. If you want an autographed copy of the books, you can order them at rebuildingtheman.com, rebuildingtheman.com slash store. 
or you can go to Amazon or any bookstore and get them as well. But I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Amazing books. All right? And um, I want to show you just really fast what Mama's Love looked like. And here is the proof that these males still have their mother's identity. They are females on the inside. They look like males on the outside. But on the inside, they have the mindset and emotions of their mothers. They have not been born again of the father. Yesterday, Nancy Pelosi, uh, Nancy Pelosi, January 6th committee met to deliberate over the events at the Capitol. And uh, the committee uh, stars... The, many, the committee stars some of the phoniest people on uh, this out of heaven, folks. It was... You almost want to feel Jesus. embarrassed for them. Looks like he's been playing WoW well for 16 years. they didn't seem to have it for themselves. Uh, on shit. Sunday, I talked about bringing shame back. If ever, if ever, we need a shame back, we need it now. Because I'm, these adults have no shame. They are so corrupt. They are in such a fallen state. Satan is such their daddy. It's quite disturbing. They have no shame about being wrong, being crappy people. There was this guy by the name of... Uh, just a phony, t I mean, phonier than a Bruce Jenner in a dress. Trying to pretend he's a woman and we know he's a man. This Adam Shit. Uh, Adam Shit is the uh, leader of the Democrats or something, right? That's who Adam Shit is. Uh, I don't know his official title. Yeah, but uh, he's a Democrat. He's a high, definitely a high-ranking Democrat. Yeah, Adam Shit pretended to be crying. He looks very weird. <laughs> Look like Satan. Bug eyes. In the age of <laughs> he was there pretending. The world was unfolding. He was shrouded by fire. crying. A land I actually watched this. Uh, a another phony. I don't think I've actually made it through the entire person. cinematic. It's very boring. On this so-called committee. But then there was fire. Was uh, a so called. And it's the guy who watched all the Vaddy video, Lord videos and shit. And I think she's the wife to Dick Cheney. But won't watch the trailer because it's. And, I'm sorry? Oh, she's your daughter? Why she looks so old? Uh, she looks as old as Dick. Light. Oh, that's his daughter? And derp. Is that Dick Cheney's daughter or why? Doesn't she look like old enough to be your wife? Then from the dark, the derp. They the, the evil from the, the derp. They I'm came. I'm telling you, we're a daughter. The they're telling me. The um, flame. and Adam Kinzinger, another right old Republican, a weak beta, girly man, cried like a baby. The first of the day. Mm, like how it looks I'm so like, cool and is such an easy fight. For? Did Mama die? What, what's going on? Set you up for the disappointment. Of this is from CNN. Here's uh, Adam Kinjinger, a so-called Republican uh, from Illinois. Watch how this man carry on just like a little and female. And it's so phony. Baby. It's not even real. So There's nothing to be crying God. about. Unless he's crying because he know you're up there lying. Watch this. I never expected a day to be <coughs> quite as emotional for me as it has been. You guys may like individually feel a little broken. Oh, oh. But you guys want it. hype. Gonna get hyped for this one. You guys help? You know, democracies are not yeah. defined by our bad days. We're defined by how we come back from bad, de bad days. A uh, beta. Who want to be married to that? That's a woman and in a male body. Betrayed his own, and the dragons were no Another sick one. Watch this one. This is, um, this person needs to be fired from the police department. Really. 
he need to be fired immediately. He is all mama as well. He must be born of the father. There will come a day when I will return the children to the fathers and the father to the children. That day is at hand. This is from NPR. U.S. Capitol Police Sergeant Aquilino Gonell. This fake guy, all female, weak and pathetic, fought back tears. Why are we calling Elden Ring might spirit. save Where all the wild players, right you know. At nearly 4 a.m. on January 7th. They're all lost souls. Anyway. I had to push my wife away from me. Searching for purpose. To hug me. It's very fitting. Oh, God. I'm such a girl. I told her no. Because of the, all the chemical that I, my uniform we had on. Is he Mexican? He sounds like a Mexican. What the? Oh, cry me God. <laughs> his head's sweatier than his, than his face. You. His face covered in tears Little and his head's sweaty. Now Now's your time to cry over me. Watch his other crybaby. This one needs to be fired as well. Oh, more. I've never seen men act this way in the public. Men. Unless you cry yeah. because you like grateful that you can see, grateful that you're free from the nah, spirit. you should never even be crying grateful for that joy. Others are waking up. Just don't cry. You need to stay home with the tears. Yeah. My wife tried to help me, and I pushed her back. Does that sound gay? Oh. Oh. <laughs> My, I pushed her back. It no. Looks terrible. No, honey. No, don't hurt me. Beta! <laughs> Don't touch me. Can you imagine that? I bet his wife beat him up for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. I can imagine that. Watch this. This is breaking down. <laughs> this guy is a Capitol Police <laughs> private first class. He has a big name, <clears throat> big title. <clears throat> I told you these titles don't mean a thing. <clears throat> it don't mean <clears throat> a thing <clears throat> if you ain't got <clears throat> that. Swain, she about to she about to do. This guy by the name of Harry Dong just feel good. Deliver his emotional oh, testimony just feel good. on oh, the oh. racism he experienced that day. Why wow, oh. he gonna be? They hurt me. They hurt. They called me a Someone name. Someone died here, and I'm the police mm. chief. Why is this? One woman in a pink maga shirt yelled, "You hear that, guys?" This nigger voted for Joe Biden. <laughs> Perhaps around 20 people joined in screaming. How can you say that and not laugh? Fucking nigger. <laughs> no one fuck. had ever, ever called me a nigger while wearing the uniform of a Capitol Police officer. Well, you've been calling wow. it now. In the days following the attempted insurrection, other black officers shared with me their own stories of racial abuse mm -hmm. on January 6th. One officer told me he had never, and in his, his entire 40 years of life, been called a nigger to his face. And that streak ended on January 6th. Oh, it's like a bot stand. Yet another black officer later told me he had been cr confronted by insurrectionists in the Capitol who told him, put your gun down and we'll show you what kind of nigger you really are. Oh. <laughs> He also cried. I thought we were going to see that, but he boohooed too, like a baby. And he, I was I thinking, shield. he could be to be crying. Shield of a beta. A male like that. Beta. Yeah, beta crying. Beta. How you going to be a big oh. male like that and be a mama, be a girl? He called me the N word. He called oh. me the N word. Uh, the real uh, 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 I can imagine what Friday, uh, you know how Chris put those yeah. things together, those videos together when we do the opening shows on Fridays and Wednesdays. I, I can't wait for Friday. I know this is going to be amazing. Smack. You got a lot of stuff to work with this Bonk. week. Bonk. But this big old guy should be ashamed mm -hmm. of himself. Oh, shame. He is wicked. He is liberal. He is female. 
in nature. Uh, on Tucker Carlson called this guy an angry left-wing activist. And on his show, revealed how Harry Don posted his support for Eliane Omar and Nancy Pelosi on his social media site. You know something? And there's no proof. I haven't seen it or even have heard anyone say somebody called the blacks the N-word at the Capitol. These liberals cannot be trusted, folks. And if they did, and what kind of male going to cry over name-calling? You, If you cry over name-calling and you're a male, you might have might as well borrow one of Bruce Jenner's dresses and wear years. them. The place I've Have been lunch with Bruce times. Jenner in a dress. Because you're a girl. Oh, you're a girl. Yes, he'd say to lay off the pot. There's no proof. This guy's just saying that with no proof. And if they did, and you're a police officer, you're supposed to be made tough to words. And this guy supported, if this is true, all these females, <sighs> like Elian Omar and Nashville, you know your girl. John Lewis also lied and said the Tea Party called him the N-word. When all else fell, use those words, and the people are going to run. The white people will run. Feel sorry for you. Okay. Why they call white people all kinds of names, and nobody cares. John Lewis is the guy that's dead, right? You did. He's a loser, too. Gonna go talk to I'm being told that this darn guy, this black guy, called himself an insurrection <clears throat> stopper on social media. Uh, Emmanuel oh, Cleaver said the Tea Party spit on him. Well, there was no proof of that. I remember that. Andrew Carson. John Lewis and Emmanuel Car uh, Car uh, Cleaver. Oh, Andre Carson, John Lewis, and Emmanuel Cleaver, black Democrats, falsely accused the Tea Party of this same type of thing. And this happened back in 2010. Amazing. If, 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 uh, White people were strong, had no fear. They 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 would be doing these things. They wouldn't be afraid to say these things. But these people lie. They they accuse you of it, even when you don't do it, because they want to get away with their crap. And they know that white people are afraid of the N word. They're afraid to be called racist, and they're using it against you, folks. This phony guy need to be fired. All those people on that stand need to be fired, including the. The, the representatives on the committee. They need to be fired. Elections is coming up in two weeks, I mean, two years. I think next year. Midterms. Get rid of these folks. You want to do something about this? You got to get rid of these people. Vote them out. Otherwise, if they stay in office, it's just going to get worse. Richard is from North Carolina. By the way, the hate report is coming up at 9 a.m. this morning. The hate report.com from 9 to 11 a.m. Pacific time. Heard around the world by everybody. And their mama hate is the guy with the good hair. Richard. Thank you for calling. Hey, happy New Jeffrey. Year. I mean, a Happy New Year. You happy know, White History you know, Month. I was getting over. Happy White History Month. You know, I was getting over my nausea until I heard those guys speak, and I got nauseous again. It's uh, a shame that we have a society today where the men, the males, boohoo in public like a woman. <laughs> but, but quick story, Jesse. You know, I was I'm our governor's thinking about probably putting a mask mandate, and I was I was worrying about it. And I fell asleep, and I had a dream, and I was walking down the street. And you were across the road, road way, and you were looking at me, and you said, "Wake up, Beta." Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. But I, I gotta tell you something, Jesse. Um, every time I do the silent prayer, 
you know, it, things just don't bother me. I have people cut in front of me, people being jerks on the road, and I'm like, oh, whatever, you know that, and just keep going, you know that, as long as no one got hurt. Well, you that's why that? it's so or, important that? to be still. Stillness, heaven and earth were created right. in stillness, and anyone who overreact to situations are really telling you that they were not of God, they're of Satan. Because they have fear, they have doubt, they have worry, they're overreacting. The world means too much to them, and they have not been born again of the Father. So you must and, overreacting, and like ovaries. Situations in stillness, ovary. You get acting. better in life. You see that God is acting you, on your ovary. Stronger, and you were uh, experience paradise on earth. Well, after Get I forgave my mother and I forgave my father, my father and I became a lot closer. Yeah, Boop. absolutely. I mean, I mean, you know, and he's the kind of man he's bum, like bum, you. If bum, I do something bum. stupid, he says, what, what happened? Did you, you know, some drop off or <laughs> stop being a beta? You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I love him. You know, I used to not like him when he said that, but now after I forgave him, I absolutely love him for that because I say, yeah, you're right. I was being a beta. That's why we you need know? fathers in the home. We need fathers to raise the children. Because otherwise you become just like what do you die from? just like mama. Thank you, Richard. I totally oh, appreciate it. Let me go to another Richard. I don't, and Richard made the point about oh, that's when you come back. Folks. You gotta stop. That's when you come back to the asylum. Anyone who overreacts to situations, Satan is your daddy. Richard, uh, first time call out of Houston. Happy White History Month, Richard. Thanks for holding. <laughs> Happy White History Month. Jesse, how are you doing? All this well, sir. Thank you. Man, I wanted to ask you a question about the uh, vaccine, but talk about mothers and stuff like that, too. I mean, you really go away uh, a lot of places. But here's my question, though. So the normal rate of infection for an unvaccinated population is about 53%. And remember about a week and a half ago, when that doctor came out of the UK and said it's 60%. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's 40%. So, you know, the infection rate tracks with the average, right? They're talking about a third booster shot. You got the DOJ involved. What do you think they're putting in us? I have no idea, buddy. We don't, they don't know, I, we don't exactly know because, first of all, I have been approved. And uh, we just don't know. I don't trust the government, so I don't know. Oh, absolutely right. Yeah. Amazing. I'm going to relaunch this. Well, I appreciate that, my speakers. Thank you, buddy. Ronnie from Cincinnati, Ohio. Ronnie, happy why here's some money. You're on the air. Hi, Jesse. How you doing today? All is well. Happy why here's some money, Ronnie. Yes, sir. 